Hey future you, this is Gemini, day 18 of Seoul, South Korea. It's always the best feeling to wake up from our apartment and see this beautiful view outside. And today we also saw that we had some really good weather. We headed out of our apartment and this is the lobby. We ordered a cab from our lobby and then we headed out into the city because today we wanted to explore Hanam. By the time that we reached Hanam, the sun was just about to set and so it made for a really beautiful view. Hanam is one of our favorite spots in Korea now. It is definitely this very luxurious and beautiful part of Seoul. It's where some of the most expensive residences are located, including the hill and the UN village. So many idols, celebrities, they all live in this area. And there are so many different cool places to eat, so many cute cafes. We also noticed that these fur coats looked very much like those in the K-dramas. We were actually heading out for dinner, but we were very tempted to stop at a cafe first because all the desserts in this area looked super nice. We made a mental note of a lot of the different places so that way we could come back in the future. Hanam is located on a big hill and so it was definitely very steep as we were walking around but we really enjoyed it. It was nice to be able to get some fresh air because we'd spent the morning in our apartment. As you can tell the restaurants are all very luxurious and so it's definitely a good place to go when you have a special occasion. We visited quite a few of the restaurants in the area. Many of them were Italian, for example, these two. And then there was also some plastic surgery clinics in the area, which was quite interesting. As we were walking, we came across one of the restaurants we've been meaning to check out, which is the Noki Bar. However, we realized it was actually closed and they had a pop-up located a little bit closer to where we live in Anguk. So we were pretty sad about that, but we headed to another restaurant we'd heard of, which was Osteria Orzo. It's a Michelin star restaurant and it looked really popular inside, but they said they needed a reservation. So we headed to a few other places. This one was called Insole and check out the inside. It was insane. We were so surprised by the water-themed interior, but at this point it was quite cold and we realized most of those restaurants in that area needed reservations. So we decided we'd come back another day once we had a reservation. So we took a small taxi just to the other side of Hanam. And this is where they have a lot of other cafes and restaurants. So we we're hoping that we could try our luck over here. Hanam looks so beautiful in the late afternoon. And look at all of these G-Wagons that were driving past us. They are definitely our dream car. And so we were always so excited when we spotted one. This is the restaurant that we were heading to. It was called Monk's Butcher. It's actually a vegetarian restaurant and so they have super great options if you're vegan or vegetarian. The interior of the restaurant was so pretty. We honestly fell in love with it as soon as we walked in. As you can see, the ambience was just so soft and natural and it was just a perfect spot to get dinner. We had a view of the beautiful Hana main road as we were sitting down, which was just so spectacular. We really enjoyed it. The restaurant itself is definitely quite small, as are most places in Seoul because it's such a big city. But we actually really enjoyed the vibe and we would definitely come back. They gave everyone these little welcome shots. I think they're just pomegranate juice, but it tasted really good. And we also ordered some aids for our table as well. 
this was a sweet pumpkin gnocchi with some pesto and lotus root on top and guys this was incredible if you come here you definitely have to try it we also ordered their pasta and this was also one of our favorite dishes we've had in korea the sauces and the mushrooms were so tasty and so we definitely recommend these two dishes if you come and visit we'd also love to try other dishes on the menu as well we talked for what felt like a very long time and so by the time that we were almost done with our meal, it was already getting dark out and look at this cool car that we saw. After that, we headed out of the restaurant and back outside because we were hunting for a new cafe to visit. Right across, we also saw the Gucci Osteria, which is the Gucci restaurant. But we kept walking and we were curious if we could find any other cool cafes. This one was a Berlin inspired vegan cafe, so we were quite interested, but it looked like they didn't have much of the pastries left since it was quite late in the evening. So right next door to it, there was actually this really cool sunglass shop that we saw many people heading inside, so we took a look as well. Everyone in Seoul is so stylish, but especially in Hanan, everyone looks so well dressed, and so we definitely feel like we need to step up our game. This was another cool store that we walked into. It was kind of like a sneaker store and we saw some pretty cool sneakers. This one definitely caught our eye. It had a toothbrush at the end of it, so that was kind of interesting. And we love the color of this one as well. It's always fun to just be able to do some eye shopping. And so we walked around and saw this perfume store and we headed inside. The perfumes all smelled so unique and some of them even had Korean inspired scents and so they were definitely very cool to try out. The store also sold some really cool hand creams. One of our favorite scents was the Forget Me Not so they had this in a perfume as well as in the hand cream. And there were so many people inside just enjoying the smells and looking around. They also sold a lot of different gift sets, so this one said happy birthday and it definitely was a very cute place to get a gift for a friend. We found this really cool flower store as well called Trend By Me. We weren't really looking for flowers but it was fun to be able to walk around. Later we stopped at this clothing store, I honestly can't pronounce the name or I just feel like I'm going to butcher it and so um, I will avoid saying it but it was definitely very popular by all of the girls that were in Hanam. A lot of them were coming inside and shopping and so we also wanted to come in and take a look and definitely was super cool and we also noticed this door was quite neat. It was just very big and the whole thing rotated so I don't know, we were quite surprised by that. As you can see, this cafe that we visited also had one of those big doors, but most of the places were closed or closing, so we crossed over and we found this really cool place called the Music Library. So it looks like they had a bunch of music albums, as well as this like, cafe underneath. We were mesmerized by the view. Unfortunately, because we were recording on our phone right here, you really can't see it. We realized we wouldn't be able to find a cafe today, so instead we headed to our favorite place, which was the E-Mart. There are just so many different types of snacks and gummies that we really want to try out while we're here in Korea and so we never miss an opportunity to come into the convenience store even though it's probably becoming a pretty bad habit. We were wanting to pick up a drink to take back home and there were so many different flavors of milk and the packaging is always so cute. This was the popular banana milks but they also had melon and strawberry as well here. Then we came over to the chip aisle because this Emar is actually the only location we've been able to find in Seoul that carries these. I swear we've been to so many different Emarts and convenience stores and we can't find those Injilmi snacks anywhere else. These are one of our favorite binge crackers, they're coffee flavored and they're so good so we took some home as well. There's so many different ice cream flavors as well but we decided we'd wait for a warmer day before we tried one out. Then we had to just get some simple items from home like some extra rice and one of these scrubbers and then we took a taxi back. Driving through Hanum was definitely really nice. We got to just do some more eye shopping and then we arrived back home at our apartment. It always feels so good whenever we get to come back into the elevator and then open the door and come back home. We're also really excited because we had all these different snacks we wanted to try out.
nothing beats the feeling of opening our apartment door and just getting inside. It's definitely been nice to explore a different side of Korea and also just see so much of Hanan today. But then we freshened up and then crashed back home because we were so exhausted from that day. So definitely more adventures to come. So wish us good luck. <laughs>